Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We're going to be diving right into this video. And from the title, you can see I'm going to be doing an updated braid out tutorial. I haven't done one in like literally two years, and I honestly wanted to just do an update because of the difference in my hair. As you guys already know, I did cut it a few weeks ago, and this is actually my first time doing a braid out. I haven't even done one since the cut, so we're both going to be seeing the results at the same time. But I applied the Garnier Fructis one minute mask all over my hair and then I began parting into halves and then into quarters. Um, I always start with the back and over here I don't really use the comb, I just use my fingers because in all honesty it's just going to bunch up together after the braid out anyway. But I go in with the Palmer's um, Cream Styler Hair Pudding and then I apply the oil same products as my wash and go and then I begin to braid the hair. Now I don't braid the hair all the way to the tip once I get mm, I would say ev not 75, 85 percent of the way to the braid I curl the ends. Um, I really do like that that extra little curl at the bottom once I take the braids out but basically I'm going to do the same thing on the entire head. First I'm going to apply the Palmer's Coconut Formula Cream Styler um, curl pudding and then the oil and then I'm going to move to the front so I did two braids in the back and I'm going to be doing three braids in the front now you can do more braids if you'd like or you can do less I just I don't know I always just go to ten like five on one side and five on the other and I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm just going to show you guys right here that I do curl the end and it might take a couple of twirls around the finger but I like the curl to be nice and together I think it makes a difference when taking out the braid out but that could literally just be me and no matter what I always do my braid out down the middle I know that some people like to do it because they put more hair on one side than the other but this is just personally how I do my braid out now I do not use the spray bottle when it comes to my braid out I don't like the braids to be too wet because uh, I normally do it right before bed, and if it takes too long to dry, then obviously I'm not going to be able to sleep with soaking wet hair. But once I finish this side over here, I am basically going to repeat the same steps on the other side of my hair. So once I'm done with this last braid, I'm going to show you guys how it looks on one side, and voila, on the other side. I've always wanted to do that snap thing, by the way. So you just go to sleep, you wake up, and yes, I did go to sleep. I set my alarm to wake up extra early to do this part of the video. <laughs> Filming is honestly no joke, but I love it. Anyway, so I'm going to just take the braids out. Um, I don't do each section. I take out all the braids just to see exactly what I'm working with. I've had sometimes the braids come out okay, sometimes the braid out comes fabulous, and sometimes I just end up slicking my hair back. So... I like to take my hair out in its entirety just to see exactly what it's going to look like. And after I take it all out, I can then move on from there. And thankfully, I, if I do say so myself, it came out pretty good. I was worried on doing my first braid out on camera, but you got to do what you got to do. So I'm going to go back in with that um, argan oil and just apply it to my hair. I'm not going to add too much because I did apply it to my hair when I did the braid out. It's just to add a, a little extra shine to any pieces that may need it. I'm just going to start breaking the hair apart with the curls. They really do mesh together. And I'm just going to like fluff it as I go. It was very voluminous, so I didn't need to use my hair pick. But if I do need to pick my hair, I do have one on deck. But it just came out so nice. I slowed it down for you guys so you guys can see the little curls at the bottom and that crimpy, like, fun look. And it's just a fun way to let your hair down and not worry about the shrinkage or anything like that. And it's just so soft and flowy. I had to shake it out. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. That is my updated braid tutorial, my updated braid out tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm waving first. Then a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I will now be uploading every Wednesday instead of Sunday. So, see you next time, guys. Bye.